Where'd you come from? Uh, fr Newark, Fremont. Hmm. Came from San Jose. Yeah. You wore some good boots. Thanks. I gotta. In case somebody fucking wants to fuck with you. One good kick in the shin will bring him down. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it doesn't go that far. Right? Yeah, me too. See, they already got their pockets full of the zip ties. Oh, they do? Yeah. Because they, 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 they guess they're just predicting they're not going to have enough handcuffs. Yeah, I would think that they, they'd want to stop anything that would happen. They have to follow orders. If the city tells them stand down, they got to stand down. They're going to stand down against us, too, though. I would hope. No, no. Yeah. They're, they're, if, it, if it's anything like it's been, they'll probably just kind of stand there and watch it all go, watch it all go down. But I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, because if they if they kick our if they kick they have too many people they start kicking our ass. Trump is not going to see. So they're going to hold funding for the. I think the politicians should be careful. Say this is twice in a row. The cops didn't do anything this time. Yeah, they didn't do anything in San Jose to help us either. And they had like an army there. I couldn't believe when we were leaving the Trump rally in San Jose, there were, I saw like people in like military uniforms, army helmets and all that, like hundreds. They were just there to intimidate. I don't know. Well, they were there to keep the people in control, even though they didn't keep them in control at all. And lots of people got hurt. I'm sure you probably saw some of the footage. And that, that lady in front of the Marriott was getting pelted with ice and eggs. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't do anything to help anybody. I don't even know why they were there. It was just wasting time, really. Pulling to go. To make it seem like they were doing something. And then San Jose got sued. The people, a lot of the victims, the people got hurt, sued the city for for them not doing anything. Yep. I was going to bring some maze questions. Uh, yeah, no. We got to rip in this. Just, you know, look up the law. Like, yeah, you can use it for self defense. Yeah, you don't need a permit or anything. Yeah. Yeah, I, I imagine they're gonna they're, they're gonna be having mace the other the other side. Yeah, they'll be screaming and yelling. But seeing them just just run up to people, tap them on the shoulder, so they turn around, mace them in the face, just for nothing. <laughs> I want to get maced. Seriously. Or as much protection as I could. Yeah. Something over there. How are you doing? Howdy. There's one. Hey, Ronnie. I'm just going to put eyes inside the port Somebody over there? Yeah, I don't know if they're for or against, but I see that guy. I'm going to go over here with uh, Sean real quick. I'm guessing red hats is red hats and black hats is good, pink hats is bad. Oh yeah, that's more than camouflage. Black boots are ready to run if necessary. Huh? <laughs> ready to run if necessary. Well, Climb over here. Yeah. Because the other guys are wearing like black tops, black boots or something. Yeah. And they're saying. They were saying they recommend wearing camouflage, black boots. And he said, I've got mace, big bottles of mace. Got a nice stick. I wonder if it's legal to get a nice stick. I don't think so. No, a uh, police baton, not legal to have. I brought a little stick so I can drop it if I have to. Uh, uh, I don't think that's going to come in use, just in case. You're not even supposed to do that, I don't yeah. I, I hope that everything just goes according to plan. Yeah. 
San Jose? I work all over the Bay Area. I'm a carpenter. Carpenter, cool. Uh, wherever the business takes me. You guys busy? Yeah. Stay busy. Used to die out in the wintertime, but lately, the last, last couple of years, it's it's uh, picked up in the winter and we stay busy all the way through. Uh, so you might be swapped because of all the damage? Uh, we, don't, we don't take things that are. We, we take things and try to turn them into. Um, Perfection, almost. Even though the last perfect carpenter died 2,000 years ago, we try. Uh, not often we do um, repairs. And something, something, something breaks. Something. Like remodels the living yeah, rooms, bathrooms, are, kitchens, uh, yeah, windows and doors. Trump rally? Right. Yeah, it was, I think, June 2nd. Yeah, there was a lot of people. Definitely a lot of people. Huge crowd. Wow. Big turnout. They put us in the um, the south the south building, which is like, a, it looks like a giant tent. And there's, uh, they didn't turn the AC on, and then they closed the air vents on the top. When we got in there, I saw that they were open, and it was scorching. I was like 99 degrees in there. And then halfway up, you know, I was just pouring sweat the whole time. I finally looked up and I'm like, are those fans spinning? And I weren't, they weren't even spinning. It was dark. I actually thought, is it dark outside? Because all the light went away. And when I got out at the end of the rally and stepped outside and it was still daylight, I could see they closed the fucking vents. Like they really tried to choke us all out and kill some people. I don't know. That's, it's crazy. No AC, no air ventilation at all. Well, they don't have it. I was reading there's no... Uh permit for this on either side of the uh, spectrum I was reading. Yeah? Read the same thing? I heard somebody mention that they were going to be here and that they were already set up and they had all their permits. Oh, they so they got some maybe. Yeah. Way. Let's see. Well, if they get permits, that means if, if we do actually do a march, I thought we were going to do a march. If we are going to do a march, then they should be guiding us along the way. Yeah. That's where to go. That was going to be a march. I thought I was going to bring my dog to take a walk. Yeah. Here we go. Well, that would be something if they, if they were, were the only ones to show up. And they had all those people. They gotta pay all the. They gotta pay all those. Yeah. All that shit. <laughs> yeah, what's the fake out we had someplace else? Yeah. Oh, it wasn't here. It was somewhere else. Um. 15,000 people showed up. Yeah, someone got paperwork apparently. <clears throat> 
go over there and see what's going on. Why not? They're gonna win. They're gonna beat us. Well, we're here also to prevent destruction of property. So, you know, we don't have any violent weapons. I'm a member of the National Life Association. I'm trying to look for the. I'd like to see this very busy on the phone last night. I didn't know about the uh, BART station's closure. And in fact, I went on the official BART site, and it was a false rumor. But then the BART site left hand doesn't know if the right hand is closure. That's a complication. Hi, excuse me. I'm the San Francisco State University. I was wondering if you wanted to answer a couple of questions real quick about what's going on. Either of you? Sure. Okay. All right. So. I don't know much, so go ahead and ask. All right. So, do you think I could have this? Come up under your jacket, Wherever. under your lapel. I'm just gonna get oh, okay. in here. Oh yeah. This is a little beside the point, but this organization has kind of got me. This started in Massachusetts. It's a little bit different. This gets started. All in right. So, put that over here first, can I get your your first and last name, please? Stephen Poles. Can you spell it for me? S T E P H E N P O W L E S. All right. And Stephen, what brings you to MLK Park today? Oh, well, I heard that there was a march for Trump here. So. And um, which side of that march are you standing on right now? I, I want to support our president. Okay. And when opposition comes for you, especially in Berkeley, how do you usually respond to people who don't understand why you'd be here? Oh, well, this is the first time I've actually gone to Berkeley for anything like this. So I really don't know what to expect. Okay. Uh, I don't know how I react if I've never been in the situation. Really? Have you been to other uh, March for Trumps or at all, or any rallies in support of him? I went to the rally in San Jose. Mm -hmm. And what that was, was your it. experience there like? Uh, it was pretty scary. scary. Afterwards, there was a lot of chaos. A lot of things were thrown at us. Okay. Rocks, ice, at eggs at us, yeah. Um, got chased, chased away. It was pretty pretty odd to watch that the police didn't do anything about it and just kind of let them chase us. Okay. So, with um, obvious opposition growing here, um, how do you think that those in support of Trump, including yourself, would respond if, say, Black Bloc or one of the um, other anarchist groups come? Do you guys have a plan at all? Uh, no, I'm not sure who they are. Black, black Bloc? Oh, well, they're, it doesn't really matter. So, what leads you to support our president with all of the negative stories that are coming out about him? What qualities do you see in him? Well, I saw all the... Uh, all the uh, when you see everybody pointing their finger at the bad guy, or supposedly the bad guy, you know he's making the biggest waves. So I, I just kind of saw that, and I knew that it was something was going to happen. Um, also, I, all the negative things, it's going to make you want to look into it. Like, is this guy really that horrible? i got to find out about this. And then when I... It just made opened up, kind of opened the door, made me more curious. The more things, whether it was good or bad, the more I heard about him, the more it made me curious. And when the more curious I was, the more I looked for myself. And I saw that a lot of the stuff that they said wasn't really true. And I understand, totally understand, why people are getting uh, getting so emotional over this. Mm -hmm. And I saw I, that's that's what made me say, you know what, uh, th this is the guy. Mm -hmm. So, would you consider yourself a Trump supporter? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And as far as bipartisan lines stand, do you see yourself more aligned with him because of the the thing that he stirs up, or is it actual policy that you're interested in? Uh, definitely policy. Definitely mm -hmm. policy. A lot of some, it's kind of personal. Some things that happen. Um, some some people I to some people I loved when I was you know, younger that shouldn't things shouldn't have happened to them. And I know that the, if these issues were solved a long time ago, then you know maybe maybe. I'd still have some people in my life that aren't around today. Do you think Trump is the guy to solve it? Well, he's the first person to speak up about it. And to see people get pissed off, the fact that he's bringing up these problems, that just makes me upset. So I'm like, I know I'm not the only person out there who's had a 
you know, something terrible happen to a, a loved one and, and, and lose them. And the whole to try to just shut it up and let's not talk about it, there's just going to be more victims. And when you say victims, how is how are those victims? How does that correlate to any of Trump's policies? Well, like if he wants to, he wants to solve the if he, when, when he talks about the problems, when he talks about you know open borders and how the people just kind of come on over and and what, what, what's the point of the laws? Why why do we have the laws? Should we if we're not going to obey the laws, then get rid of the laws or start obeying the laws? So, and I think that they're there for our protection, aren't they? I'm, if if like I said. Some things wouldn't have happened if the laws were enforced. As far as immigration goes? As far as immigration, And yeah. you believe that Trump, under this new Trump... Um, well, I, I sure hope, I hope he does something. If he doesn't, I'll be disappointed. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. That was great. I really appreciate your time. Um, and I'll just slip that guy under your jacket. There we go. Thank you, you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> That was painless. Uh, that was painless. Yeah. <laughs> they'll cut you out. <laughs> I didn't even realize I recorded the whole thing, too. <laughs> uh, oh, that's good. This is what they put on. This is what I actually said. Look very well organized. No, what time is it? An hour.